Have you spoken with your father? No. Richie's going to need to see you the first thing at the office. Why is that? I'm going to let him tell you that. Sounds serious. It is. We called you last night and you were out. Well, Taylor and I were out doing something important. What? Dinner with Brooke. How did that go? It went pretty well, for the most part. For the most part? Well, it was Taylor's first time over there, so it was bound to be a little tough, and, uh... I did something kind of stupid. But what the hell, it had to happen sometime. What did you do? We don't want to make a big deal of it. The timing was bad, I guess. Just didn't occur to me that it would bother her. More coffee? No, thank you. Other than that, everything went along all right? Yeah, pretty much so. Well, I can see you're not going to get into this football of yours, so... No, not really. Well, what the hell Taylor's going to tell you anyway? I gave Bridget a present. That's it? A rattle. Well, why would Taylor be so upset about that? Well, in all fairness, it wasn't uh, just a rattle. What was it? It was the one that Dad gave me when I was a baby. You gave her your grandfather's rattle? You gave a forest heirloom? Is that what you're saying you did? Yes, I gave her the heirloom. I can't believe. I, I, I just cannot believe that you would do something like this. Mother, she's my daughter. You could have given her one. You could have gone out and bought one. Bought her one? That's not the point. What is the point? Bridget is my firstborn. Tradition has it. I give it to my firstborn child. Ridge, I want to put this as delicately as I can. Bridget is a unique child. She is not to be considered in the normal line of birthright. Wait a minute. Well, what do you think this says to Taylor? Taylor's not the issue of here, Mother. Of course she's the issue. She's your wife. She's your legal spouse. She has every right to think that a, 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 an heirloom like that, that has that much family tradition to it, would be given to her firstborn child by you. There are other heirlooms, other gifts. Now you're just making excuses for yourself. No, I don't have to make excuses to you. No, not to me, to your wife. I'm sure that she's pretty upset about this. Well, if she is, she said nothing to me. I don't believe it. She didn't. Not last night, not this morning. Oh, well, I'm sure you find that very comforting. Mother, listen to me. I didn't do this for Taylor. I did it for my daughter. Is that going to be the line from now on? I did it for my daughter, so that makes it okay? It's a tradition, all right? Don't you give me a tradition. Don't you give me that line. Did Brooke have something to do with this? Brooke! Did you tell her you were going to give the baby this gift? No, I didn't tell anyone. You didn't tell Taylor. That was a mistake. I can't believe that you didn't discuss this with your wife. On the other hand, maybe I can believe it. Maybe I can because you knew in your heart if you told her this would upset her. Look at me, Ridge. You tell me if that isn't the truth. Maybe you're right. Maybe subconsciously I did know Taylor wouldn't like it, so I didn't tell her. This wasn't subconscious on your part. Well, the fact is, the child's going to get that gift anyway. I don't care who objects to it. I made that decision a long time ago. Oh, you did, did you? Yes, that's right, I did. And what justifies this action on your part? Because this little girl's going to need every opportunity to succeed. And it's not going to be easy because I'm not going to be living with her. None of us knows what it's like not to live with your father, but that is this kid's legacy. Now, she looks at that rattle from day to day, from time to time, and growing up, and thinks about me giving it to her, and that she meant that much to me to have done that. Then it's all going to be worth it, Mother. I'm not going to regret this for one moment. Has Brooke come on to you? What? I want the truth. I want to know if anything has happened between you and Brooke. As much as a single kiss since you've been married to Taylor. I want to know the truth. Well, it's really none of your business now. But what the hell, yes. We kissed once. It was nothing. Nothing? Nothing! 
Mother, it happened once. It was over before it even began. So she did come on to you, didn't she? No, I wouldn't say she came on to me. Was it your idea? Mother, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't anybody's idea. It just happened. It came out of the moment. You know, you two have a history of it just coming out of the moment. What does that mean? You know damn well what it means after you discovered belief the two of you made love right on that lab floor. How the hell do you know about that? It doesn't matter how I know it. What I know is the history between you and Brooke better than you know it yourself. You stay away from her. If you don't stay away from her, it will happen one day. And the day it happens is the day you are going to lose the most precious gift that you've ever been given in your life. Your wife. You stay away from her. Brooke isn't worth it. She isn't worth it.